How's it going guys? Tony here. Well, today is the day, or at least it better be, I'm finally going to get a Sega Genesis Mini. I've actually been talking to a few of my buddies that work at Walmart, and they have assured me that I can buy it today. Before I do that, I'm actually going to go game hunting, and I'm going to go to my local honey hole and see if I can find any retro goodness, any retro video games. Guys, if you have not subscribed to me, please do so, and if you're new here, I'm all about retro video games. I cover retro video games. I hunt for retro video games. I review retro video games. Hence the name Retro Tony. All right, guys, let's see what I find today and let's get that freaking mini. Thanks for watching. Checking out their DVD collection. Mr. Nanny. Hmm. This is very odd. I know it's wishbone. On this edition of the Cup Chasers. All right, so I actually did pick up a few things. Nothing great. I got this. Bass Pro Shops The Strike. Um, it's complete in box and there's also a Wii controller in there with the game so I don't understand why the box was so big for this thing but I don't know I got it mostly because it was complete in box so whatever might do a video on it it's kind of silly I don't know the Wii had a lot of funky um, you know these accessories I guess that were really really bad I also got some freaking light bulbs. They were 50 cents a piece. So I got a couple of those. I got uh, Super Mario Brothers Super Show. I actually showed some footage of that. And then uh, Minecraft Xbox 360 version. That's going to Missouri Game Con 5. It's going to be on sale. And then Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. Um, I may or may not keep this. It might just go to Missouri Game Con. I don't know. We'll see. I've never actually played this. Is this a good game? Have you guys played this? Midnight Club, Los Angeles? Well, anyway, let's go get my freaking minis now, guys. Ooh, boy. Here again. I hope this is my last trip to Walmart in a very long time. Also, today is the release of Link's Awakening on the Switch. I'm going to get that. I'm getting that today, too. Link's Awakening. Pretty excited about it. Sorry for the glare. I don't see any of the switch lights unless they're somewhere else. Hmm. Here's that kiosk again. Unless they have them hiding somewhere else. Don't know. I <sighs> finally, finally, freaking got one. Man, I cannot believe it took me this long to get it after its release. And here's the story. So, the Sega Genesis Mini came out on the 19th, and the Nintendo Switch released today on the 20th. So I was told that the manager didn't fully understand the release dates of these and that this was supposed to be released on the 19th. So whatever. I'm going to do an unboxing of this. I'm going to do a review of this. I'm also going to continue my reviews of all 42 games on the system. I am pretty happy about this. I love the box. I love the artwork. I mean, it's the original Sega Genesis box. 
and uh, that's cool. It's the original Sega Genesis model, the Model 1 from 1989 in America. So yeah, that's really cool. Now, surprise, surprise for me rather, or should I say Merry Christmas Retro. It's, it's October, not October, September 20th. So Merry Christmas Retro. Ha ha ha! Oh yeah, <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I could not resist getting a light. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I know it's Sega Genesis Month on my channel, but I'm gonna do an unboxing of this as well. They had nine total and uh, they weren't on the shelf yet. I actually have a little bit of footage of that. And they were behind the counter in the little cage area. They had three of the blue, three of the yellow, and then three of the charcoal, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna put this thing through the ringer I'm I'm going to play this thing and unbox it and show you guys what, what it's all about. I'll compare this to the actual Switch um, itself. This may or may not be something I keep in my collection. I don't know. I might have just bought it for the channel. We'll see. Um, now, one thing I'm not very happy about is Walmart has put on their own stickers, but it seems like it's pretty easy to come off. And uh, I will do an unboxing. There, there, there we go. There we go. No harm, no foul. No harm, no foul there, okay? Pretty clean. Now, also today, Nintendo was very, very smart about this, by the way. Nintendo killed it today. And uh, I will be playing this tonight. Whew, man, I, I love the Game Boy game. Zelda Link's Awakening. And a uh, huge fan of the series, huge fan of this game. Now the art style, we'll see. Um, I'll talk about it. But it does look pretty good. It does look pretty cool. And uh, I think it'll be a fun playthrough. I haven't played Link's Awakening in a long, long time. So, yeah, I mean, good lord. But this is awesome. Finally tracking one down. Getting this today, too. And, of course the switch light so yeah pretty cool all right guys let me know if you picked up a light today if you picked up uh, Link's awakening today on the switch and if you have gotten a sega genesis mini did you have as much trouble as i did trying to get one now one little tidbit here one little story about why i had to wait to get mine here i actually pre-ordered one all right from amazon and they emailed me and said that it's going to be coming to me on Monday. Okay, that's the estimated delivery date. And the second thing I want to clear up, okay, I don't have all the time in the world to go to another town, to travel, to go to, say, like, Columbia during the week. Now, if it was a Friday launch, I, I would have probably gone somewhere else. I had to stay in my local town in order to get this thing on a mid for a midnight release if it's during the week so that i just wanted to clarify that there there were some comments about well, why didn't you go to best buy why didn't you go to gamestop i didn't have the ability i did not have the the ability or the time to do that and uh it was not a luxury that i had to get one of these but yeah this one will stay in my collection and the other one i'm giving away and guys all you have to do is subscribe all right guys oh whoo what a day. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I got a little mail call today too, and since I got the mini and it's kind of fitting with the theme, I'm going to show them off. So I have Sonic Jester's Challenge, and obviously these are mods. This is Sonic Genesis Boom, and then you got Vector the Crocodile. And uh, I got these for pretty cheap off of a Facebook group. And this one's actually pretty well done. Uh, you could tell, obviously, it's fake. 
but that's you know it doesn't bother me it's still pretty cool all right guys well there's a little extra for you and stay tuned for some more sega genesis mini coverage